G'day, Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series and welcome to another hopefully compelling video here today. What I'm going to show you here today is how to use your four-wheel drive vehicle to actually start your campfire. Now this might seem like a bit of a ridiculous notion and a bit of a ridiculous idea but I can guarantee there's many of you watching this video who've gone out camping, gone out on that adventure and you've forgotten to bring a box of matches or the cigarette lighter has failed. But you will not fail from now on in because once you know how to use your 4x4 to start a fire, you're always going to be able to keep warm. So if you want to find out this and more, then you know exactly what to do. Click on that subscribe button down below, click on that notification button too, but most importantly, stay tuned. Rightio, I've got my box of tricks here today and I've showed this on a number of videos here on the channel and it's just fantastic. It's a great little suitcase with a heap of cubby holes in it and you can fit a lot of stuff in it. So I guess this is my get out of jail free card. Now in here as I've explained before in previous videos I've got all different kinds of stuff but one of the things I always keep is a humble bit of steel wool. Now this is actually really, really handy for a number of different things, uh, particularly cleaning up spark plugs and points, it's really handy for, uh, but also you can light a fire out of it and that's what we're going to do here today. So we'll grab a couple of them and I'll show you the next step. So as you can see here, I've got a bit of additional help or additional equipment here today. We've got a 6 volt battery and I've got some jumper leads. Now, many of you can guess what I'm going to do with the steel wool. It's very, very simple. I'm simply going to arc the steel wool out between the positive and negative terminals. And anyone who had a slot car set or a model train set when they were a kid, probably like myself, had hours of fun just putting steel wool on the tracks and watching it just slowly heat up and combust. So what we do, and I guess the reason why we'd have a six volt battery with us is because this is fantastic for putting in your torch, particularly if you have a dolphin torch. And I've talked about these on the channel quite a while ago, but in regards to buying a torch, they are the best bang for your buck. Now, I always carry two of these because you can use it for a number of other, I guess, uh, get yourself out of trouble situations, particularly with a series Land Rover. But anyway, that's enough of that. So, next step, let's get this fire started. Okay, so I've got the little pad of steel wool here. We're just going to break it up a bit because the finer the steel wool is, obviously the easier it is for it to get hot. And then I'm just going to get the negative terminal or the negative uh, alligator clip because that's the safe one. And then I've got the positive one here. And don't worry, I'm not going to start jerking or anything like that. Now what I did there is I actually blew on it and by blowing on it, that obviously no different to tinder, got it hotter and hotter and hotter. And it basically almost combusted in my hand, not violently. And so then I've just placed that in some nice dry tinder here and we've got a fire going. It's that easy. Now if you don't have jumper leads, as I said before, there are alternatives. And the six volt battery that I had on the bonnet of the Land Rover is an example of that. That's something that you would probably use in a torch like a dolphin torch which we've talked about on the channel before. Uh, you can use a 9 volt battery or if you're a little bit electrically inclined uh, you can wire your torch with a couple of wires coming out and get it to arc out in the actual steel wool itself. 
Anyway, I thought this just might be a useful tip for you. And if you are enjoying the content here at Seriously Series, uh, please do consider supporting us via Patreon. All proceeds go to the production of these videos and a heck of a lot more. Better get that in. And if you are enjoying the content here at Seriously Series, then please do consider clicking on that subscribe button down below, clicking on that notification button too, and that way you won't miss out on one single video. Anyway, I hope to see you in our next video. Absolute cracker.